Hello and welcome to Awaken the Truth Within with Zoe Gold. So, um, let's take a look at what you actually want, your goal, and a little distinction between this idea. Because usually when you, when you start setting goals, when you go to a particular workshop, the question that you're getting asked is what is it that you actually want? What is it? And then you set goals, etc., and and you know what it is. Now, first of all, yes, it is important because you you have to be very very clear where you're going. It's like, for example, when you're leaving your house, you have no clue where wherever you're going. You will never end up in a desired destination because you have no clue what it is and where you're driving. You have no direction. So, what's the point of even leaving the place, right? So that is important, but there is another crucial distinction here because you can want in um, maybe many different ways, but there are three things that you need to know or three ways of how often people want something that actually influences whether they're going to get it or not. Now, first way is when you come from a state of dream fulfilled, when you look at your goal or result that you want to achieve and it reminds you of how it feels when you actually have it. It reminds you of this assuming beingness of being this person, being this person who has it, who enjoys it, who loves it, who it's like it's done. The person who knows it, the person who is certain, you are. You don't have to do anything. You just are. Spirit, spirit that created this physical universe can be anything. That's why internally within you, you can choose beingness of your choice regardless of how the physical universe around you looks. So you become the cause over it. When you look at circumstances and conditions and past and failures and other things, you make it cause. You make it, usually you do it, you make it superior to you. And then you wonder why you set goals, you do things, you work hard, and you cannot achieve them. So, coming back to that idea, first way how you can want or how you can focus on your result or your goal or where you go, where you want to be, where you want to go, is from the state of dream fulfilled, from the state of answered prayer, prayer, from the state of knowing, because spirit always knows it's within you from that inner certainty of who you really are and just enjoying it because just imagine when you have a car you either ignore it because okay I have a car whatever or you enjoy it like you drive it and you love it you enjoy it you are the person who owns the car now the second way of wanting is I want, and that's what most people feel about the goals that they cannot achieve, is I want it, this thing that I don't have. Because again, as I said, if you have a car, you do not want a car. If you want a car, that means you do not have it. So your focus is on not having. I want this thing that I don't have. When you have a car, You either don't care, okay, I have a car, whatever, or you enjoy it, you love it, you are the person who has this car. So that's a big difference, and there is another want, (laughs) and the way you can want something, is I want it because I need it. And that's another way of focusing on lack. I want this thing that I don't have because I need this thing that I don't have. Many people want money, financial abundance, because they need it. They need it. 
They needed so much. They've been needing it for so long. It's painful. What do you think they're focusing on and feeling about this subject when they're focusing on it from the, the want for, that comes from need? I don't have it. I need it. Therefore, I want it. And how much pain is actually linked to that subject? Because you see what happens is we... Um, the way the brain works, the way we work, is we try to avoid pain and get closer to pleasure. And if you link so much pain to the thing that you actually want, because I wanted it for so long and I need it. And if, when I don't have it, when I don't have my money, when I even think about it, it feels bad, it feels lack, it feels weakness, it feels scary, it feels painful. And you've been doing it for a while and you keep on doing it because within you, like I mean, focusing and feeling these feelings, because if you just stop doing it, it would disappear, but you continue doing it, refreshing it, linking pain to it, feeling lack of it, feeling need for it, and want it, and wonder why you don't have it. So, I hope this clarification helps, and I'm going to talk to you in our next podcast. So, have an amazing day, and talk to you soon. Bye now!